Well, the last time I updated you, I was in Medora, North Dakota, and you know, it was fun there. I got to lot, make lots of crazy food things. I used, I, I, I caught lots of animals. Some kind of garter snake, definitely not. Now he's my friend. All right, Johnny, you ready to hold him and not drop him? Fuck you. I won't take that shit. Already? Are you ready to no, hold him? No, I'm not holding him, I'm touching Look him. Look at him. Look at so him. Oh, he's so cute. He's like a little. <laughs> Put him on the air conditioning unit. Let him hang there. Oh no, they get roasted. Awesome. We need just another person trying bat soup. All right. Goodbye. Yeah, that was Medora, North Dakota, and I met a couple there that invited me to stay in their basement in Euclid, Minnesota, out at their farm. And I was like, you know what? That's something new. I love trying new things. Let's do it. <laughs> when I showed up in Minnesota, it was during beet harvest. So there's literally tons and tons of beets being piled up in these fields. And the guy who I was staying with worked as a uh, farmer and he brought me on one of these machines that were just this giant beet machine, like cycling through beets, kind of cleaning off the dirt of them. It was giant. It was just freaking ginormous, this, this beet machine. <laughs> So I went out there and they helped me find a job in the area. So I was working for this small inn called the Snow Sled Inn. And that was in Gently, Minnesota, a very small town, like a population 40 or something, you know? First day working there, I'm in the kitchen, which is right behind the bar. Everyone can see me working. And this guy walks in and he's like, he looks at me and I turn around and I'm like, hey there. And he's like, who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? I am kind of confused because why is a guest walking into the restaurant and asking the employee, what are you doing here? Little do I know, like every single person who goes to this inn, who goes to this restaurant bar, knows everyone. I mean, they know each other, they know the workers, they know everyone. So it is very odd to see someone working behind the counter there you know and a lot of them think I'm in this like government protection program where I'm being like hid from some criminals that I've ratted on or something it's hilarious I mean they have literally not seen anyone in fact most people they walk in and they're like all right who has the California plate you know because I still have the California plate on my pickup uh, oh and that's another thing the words my truck is not a truck it's a pickup a truck is a semi um I got in trouble for saying soda instead of pop. Uh, I, I said, I said casserole. Casserole is not a word out there. It is called hot dish. And uh, it's not, it's not bag, it's big. It's not milk, it's milk. And uh, yeah, lots of little language things up there in Minnesota. And you know, you just gotta talk like them to kind of fit in. Otherwise they'll know you're an imposter. You don't want to be sussed out like that. It was really fun. And uh, the couple I was staying with who were in their 60s and 70s, they're actually the grandparents of the girl who ran over the porcupine in the Medora video. That's so sad! You killed him! Look at it was foot. you! Look at, foot. Look at that little foot! They took me to Duluth, which is a town on the side of, uh, on, on the left-hand side, or, you know, the, the western side of Lake Superior. They have this tourist attraction where they have a whole bunch of Christmas lights and the whole attraction is just a bunch of Christmas lights. I think my voice, I don't care about my face. <laughs> but Governor Tim Waltz shut down all the uh, dine-in restaurants in Minnesota. Even though I was in a very conservative part of Minnesota, uh, Governor Tim Waltz was still able to shut us down, and that really sucked. So I went home to California for the holidays to San Diego, and uh, I just spent time with the family. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. And uh, goodbye.
<laughs> I think it's safe to walk on. 